Well, howdy guys, welcome back to the channel. Tonight, I wanted to show you guys some new stuff from Tajima. Uh, as you guys know, and I have right here on me, the Tajima GS lock tapes have been like my favorites for quite a while. This is the one I've had on me. It's covered in Sharpie marks and everything else. And I've been using this ever since the Tajima unboxing video, which is months ago. So this thing still has not even lost a piece of rubber. It's, it's working solid. It's great. It's just a normal pull it out. You got a lock right there on the side. It's got a little tether point right there on the back. But the real, real winner to this, I have to take my, have to take this off my belt to show you guys. But uh, it's the little lock that goes on your belt. This goes on your belt right through there. You can see that. Belt goes through here, and it's a pretty decent size slot. You've got, you can fit a belt, oh, maybe one and three quarters inches in there. It's just a little over that, so you'd want a little bit of give and take. See here, it has a, a lock like that, and all you do is slides right down in like that, and it has a real clean snap. It keeps all that wear off of your pocket and your pants right here. And you all know I used that pocket hitch for a long time with my fast cap tapes because I liked how it had a leather backing and I could just snap it on and off of there since it ha they have the clip style. This one though, when you go to grab your tape off of your belt, you just reach down, gr grab the bottom of your tape and press down on the yellow and it's straight off. Just presses back in and it's like that. But you don't have to worry about if you walk through a doorway or something, your tape bumps something and it falls off, okay? On this, it's solid. You don't have to worry about it. It might stop you when you hang it up on the corner, but you're not going to lose your tape or have it fall onto someone or whatever. The other thing is, since, you know, we mentioned these have a tether point right here on the back, that tether point goes to this metal piece right here so you can put a tether between these two so that if you do, you know, you're measuring or something and you drop your tape, say from a lift, anything like that, a tall ladder, it's going to fall and then catch off of your belt right there on that metal tether point. So really nice, very well thought out deal. Not a whole lot of fiddling to get these on and off. It's just, they're great. When it's on you, it'll take you probably the first day to get used to because you just bump that down and you're off. Hopefully this is making perfect sense. That yellow presses down and that releases releases that catch on the back of the tape. So, <laughs> very, very neat little setup. I, I love it. Basic, great, and the tape is really, really nice. I've been a pretty big fan of it. I've run this out. I know a lot of you guys are really into your standouts. And I think eight foot is about what I've got. I'm at eight foot right there. And I can, I can pretty well hold an eight foot, but much past eight foot it won't. So this is just a 16 foot tape. 16 foot is what I use for pretty much everything. So if you're doing a lot bigger rooms or something, they have those, but I usually get the 16 footers. So Tajima was nice enough to send me some more tapes. So I want to show you guys these. They've come out with more of these GS lock tapes with even more features to them. And they have some separate clip systems for these now that we're going to go through really quick. So even have one here that is a metal, a metal bodied one. So so just to be clear on these tools here, the tapes are going to be marked right here on the back, made in Japan. Made in Japan for Tajima Tool Corporation in California. So great little tapes, and that's just, I've been a huge fan of them. I, I kind of have gotten hooked on a few Japanese tools or even trying some vessel screwdrivers and stuff like that. But I've been a big fan of Tajima for quite a while. So this one here is a GS lock magnetic power. And this one even has the, the, well, I don't know what the proper word for it would be, but you have a both side end right there. See there? Instead of just having, you know, your tape hook on the bottom, you have the horns here on the top. So you can hook, you can hook when you're measuring on something front or back. And that's important with these GS lock tapes because they're marked on the front and the back equally. 
and they have metric and imperial on both sides. So you see that right there? You have metric and imperial on that whole tape, front and back. Really, really nice little setup. This one is, this is called their Magnetic Power X2 GS Lock, where the one I'm using is just called the GS Strong Tape. Show you that one more time. See, there's just Strong Tape. This one here is Tajima Magnetic Power. You can get that to show you that right there. But this is, man, really nice sturdy tape. It's all chrome inside there instead of the red like this one has. But I like that clip on the end. It's really thick, heavy duty. And this one, the clip actually comes separate from this. I'll go ahead and show you kind of what that package looks like for that. But the clip for this is, a, is that metal bodied Tajima clip. And I believe, though, that it probably doesn't matter. If you switch between tapes on these, I bet you that this tape... Yeah, see there? That's the one off my belt. I can change tapes, no problem. And I could be using, I could be using this one. Even though this one has a big steel clip on the back, I could be using that one. This has a whole deal where if you needed to put this over a belt that you were unable to thread through or you had something on the end of your belt where you couldn't, this will actually open. This is also super handy if you wear things like harnesses. You know, if you're up, you have a safety fall harness on or anything like that, you need to have your tape up here, your suspenders, whatever it is. This tape will go right in there and you have a nice steel clip to hold this. And it'll be the exact same method. It hits your finger in the same place. It's just a black slider on this. Real nice metallic, has the same, you've got the, the fall arrester right here for a tether, right here on the back of the tape and then on the bottom of that. Has a magnet right here on the bottom. And y'all know my desk is magnetic. That tape actually sticks to the desk or, you know, screws, bolts, whatever. But kind of neat little deal. And it's a strong magnet on that one. So if you had somewhere you need to stick it, if you're pulling it across a measurement and you stick it on a steel stud, whatever, that'll that'll stick. I mean, <laughs> it'll pick. It's pretty pretty strong little magnet on the back of that tape. But that's kind of neat. Maybe annoying in some circumstances if you're around a whole lot of little metal parts or something. But so that is that one, and that's the one with both sides on the tip. Then they have another strong tape also with a horned hook and this one double-sided blade as well whole nine yards this one looks very similar to that first one same deal but this is not the magnetic power x2 however this is magnetic we have right here on it that it has a horned magnetic hook right here that's this tape but see that tip right there really nice tips on these tapes and you can see the magnets right there in the end so if you want to grab something you dropped your screws off your ladder whatever there you go if you're measuring off of steel studs something like that i don't do a lot of steel construction really at all so that's really not something for me but i've been notorious for if i drop something off the ladder if it's got magnets that can handle it i'll stick my tape down there and fish my screws back or screwdriver or whatever i can but nice little magnetic tape these are all 16 foot here same nice uh clip here on the back if you look right through there you can put this on without the proprietary clip this will just slip right on your belt or it will go on any of the normal quick clips from tajima Okay, between those two, now we have, this is basically the exact same tape that I've been carrying every day. They just sent a brand new one of them. That's the GS lock clip, 16 foot. Just a great little tape all around. That's, that's the exact same one I've been carrying every day. The only difference is these new ones, they all have that clip on the side where you can go ahead and use this just right on your pants pocket if you should want to. With the new clip, you can actually just put it right on your pocket like you normally would, you know, where the way I've been doing it with the GS, with the lock deal here, you put this on your belt and then this will also snap into that. But for me, I greatly prefer this over hooking these on my pocket. Mainly, 
I hate wearing out the top of my pocket and having a threadbare pocket and everything. Also, there's no positive retention where with this, it's attached to your belt and it's not coming off. If you hit it or whatever, it, it can't come off. So just kind of those little things. They have multiple new clips here. This one here is for a vertical harness. If you have a vertical harness that you have to wear, this clip will go, you know, right there on it for you. The same deal, this will clamp down on the belt with this. So instead of, you know, on, on your pants one, this will just slide on your belt because it's just open right through here, see? This here, though, this will actually lock right onto your vertical harness so you don't have it, you know, sliding all the way down or something like that that'd be, that could probably be annoying. But loads of neat new options. They've got the same, the belt clamping system for your regular belt now, too. So if you don't want it sliding around on you, you can clamp this right down on your belt and it won't. And then their normal slide clip right there, that's just a standard one without the yellow deal. However, I, I do kind of like the yellow release for me, but you can also get it in just black if you want to. But really, really nice tapes. I feel like at this point, I can actually say that I love these tapes. And full disclosure, they send me these tapes, okay? They send me all of the things that I talk about from Tajima. So just be upfront with you guys. I have used these quite a while. I'm very happy with them. So I can say I do personally love these. So that is a quick little tour of the GS Lock tape measure lineup. The new stuff from Tajima. You'll see these showing up in my bags, everything in the future here too. But in the meantime, if you're looking for another great video, let's check out when I first got these tools from Tajima. 